In this video, we will show you how to use NFC connectivity and SD25DV I2C's fast transfer mode to establish a secure transfer channel between an IoT device and an Android phone. The secure transfer channel consists of a mutual authentication and encryption of data exchanged over NFC. Each device has its own ECC key pair, a public key and a private key. The devices exchange their public keys. The devices compute an AES session key. This AES session key will be different each time and cannot be found by someone observing the communication. The ST25DV I2C Discovery Kit authenticates the smartphone. The smartphone authenticates the ST25DV I2C Discovery Kit. The secure transfer channel is ready. All the communication is now encrypted both ways. To execute this demo, you will need the following material. An Android phone with at least Android 6.0. An ST25 DVI Square C discovery kit representing the IoT device. This board is based on a motherboard equipped with STM32L4 and a daughter board featuring an ST25DV04K NFC tag. The Android application, STM32 firmware, user manual and application note are all available on st.com slash ST25DV I2C crypto demo. Now let's start the demo. When the ST25DV I2C board is tapped, a secure transfer channel is automatically set up. Then four actions are proposed. Read encrypted data and display them. Read encrypted image and display it. Perform an encrypted firmware upgrade. Eavesdropper demo. We're going to start with the eavesdropper demonstration. This feature enables the sending of encrypted text and shows both the encrypted and decrypted message. Please note that if the same message is sent several times, the encrypted text is different every time. Now let's see the encrypted sensor data feature. Here, the smartphone sends a request to receive encrypted data. This data could be some sensor data, for example. Once the data has been received, checked and decrypted, it is displayed as a graph. Now let's see the encrypted firmware upgrade demonstration. Here we take the new firmware stored in the phone's memory. The firmware is encrypted and uploaded. When the firmware has been received by the ST25DV I2C Discovery Kit, if no tampering is detected, the firmware is flashed and the MCU reboots. 